What's up and welcome to Amigos. So today I'm on the west side again, but this is for a different restaurant. I'm here at Longoria's. Now Longoria's has been here since 1941. It's called Longoria's Grocery and Grill. And let me tell you, it is a blast from the past. This is one of the coolest places I've ever been, I've ever eaten. I'm excited to show this all to you. So let's go inside. What do you got for me today? Well, we got burgers, fish, chicken. All right, well, Thank let's you. do it. And who do we have here in the kitchen? I'm Brian Longoria, fifth generation. I'm Brian Comey. I'm Johnny Rodriguez, head chef. Uh, right here we got some brisket tacos with a little bit of onion and pickle and some barbecue sauce. Right here we have a called it jefe. It's with French fries and a little bit of onion rings. And right here we have a fish plate and it comes with either uh, potato salad, tartar sauce, French fries. Everything here at Longoria's is made homemade and fresh to order. So now it's time to eat. I'm very excited and I'm glad that the guys back there are gonna help me eat this. So I basically got a portion from everything they made. Look at this platter, it's gorgeous. Uh, I'm going to ask Carol, the owner, if they can actually name this after me, the Chris platter, because it's got a little bit of everything. <laughs> she actually told me there's a guy who comes and he gets the jefe and puts a piece of fish on there. So um, I'll have to do that next time. Because right now, I have my work cut out for me. Look at this burger. It's absolutely beautiful. It's more of a work of art than a burger. I can't wait to try this. So I originally came in here for the brisket tacos because my buddy Davey said, hey, you have to try the tacos. But when you get here and you see everything they have, you have to try a little bit of everything. Here we go. When it comes to burgers, I am extremely picky. This burger is amazing. I mean, oh my goodness gracious. What I really like about it is, so the jalapenos, they're, they're not overly bearing to where you can't taste the food. Mixing with that avocado gives it that Mexican feel that, oh, it's great. But then you get the burger itself, that thin piece of meat. Oh, so good, seasoned well. You always have to put the lemon on here because it literally will change the taste of the fish. It, it does something, it brings out all the different flavors so i'm a purist but i do want to try this uh, homemade tartar sauce but first i'm just going to try it without the tartar sauce just straight up like that the way uh the way my grandma used to do it, with no sauce i should fish more I, I forgot how much i love fish i don't eat fish enough so one thing about fish sometimes you eat fish and it's so fishy that you're like dude i'm going to be tasting this fish in three weeks right um but not this what I really like is the breading. Um, it's not an extremely thick breading, so it's, it's really light. Let me tell you something about it. It doesn't take away from the taste of the fish. It's not overbearing where sometimes you eat fish and you just really taste the breading, or you eat fish with breading and you only taste the fish. It's a good combination. I know you're gonna be in a dilemma the first time you come, because you're gonna wanna try the fish. You're gonna have to try a burger. So what I suggest is come with a group of friends. Everyone order a little bit, maybe recreate this platter, share a little bit. It's Eat Migos, everybody. I have a taco. I know you're probably watching. You're like, dude, what are you doing? You're not eating a taco. I have one here. I was just so excited to try the other stuff. First, I had to dig in. I mean, look, you guys haven't even seen this because it's not really in the frame, but look at that. I can't wait to try that. Look, I have this. I have this. It's like my birthday in here. When you come to Longoria's, it's like your birthday. Like, literally, look at all this beautiful stuff. It's great. Uh, I like to put barbecue sauce. I like to stay true to the flavor of barbecue. Um, you know, Davey actually originally told me that the brisket was killer. He's like, man, you gotta go because the brisket is just killer, man. Uh, I'm gonna throw some onions in there because I'm not gonna be around my wife for a while. Nice crispy tortilla as well. 
that flavor is amazing. Um, it's kind of, I don't know how long they smoke these for or cook them for. Very tender, but that flavor, I'm gonna get a piece without um, sauce because I want to try it with my mouth. I don't know what they're putting on there, what seasoning they're putting, but whatever it is, it's fantastic and it's a secret and they're not gonna tell you, but I gotta show up here to enjoy it. I came here with every intention to get the brisket taco. I saw everything else. Now this is a gift from Carol, the owner. I didn't even know that I didn't even know that this was gonna happen. If you if you look at this, this is absolutely beautiful. I almost don't want to eat it because I you know I'm gonna have to take a picture with it. So when, whenever you've been successful for, I started in 41, so what's that, 60, 70, 80 years? I mean, come on. I mean, you attribute all that success to the flavoring, the food here, the love, everything that's put into it. And you can taste it. It literally translates from the kitchen right onto the plate. Literally, my favorite cake is chocolate cake. All right, so before we leave, we're going to talk to Carol. And the reason is, is when I met Carol when I came in, she gave me a brief overview of Longoria's story. It is so fascinating that you have to hear it, and I believe that this will kind of let you know as to why this, is, this place has been around since 1941, and why it continues to thrive and be successful. So Carol, please tell us again about Longoria's. It started in the 1940s, 1941 exactly. It was in the midst of World War II that my husband's uh, grandma and grandpa, Elsie Longoria and Josephine, uh, they opened it. We do have a picture of the original little store here. Uh, the picture's dated 1947, but it was originally here in 41. Okay. Um, and then that original wooden store is moved to Navidad Street in 53 when the bottom floor here was uh -huh. built in 1953. Okay. They moved the original store over to Navidad Street. Awesome. Well, Carol, thank you for letting me come out. Your food sure. is amazing. Thank you. Uh, your hours of operation are? Uh, we're only open two days out of the whole week. Okay. Uh, Thursdays and Fridays. Okay. Yeah. And right now, since we have the hour change, uh, we're open from 11 to 5. And okay. then when spring comes, we'll open up, uh, close later, uh, later times. Okay. Perfect. So Thursdays and Fridays, 11 to 5. Yes. And you have to come because, let me tell you, the food here is absolutely amazing. The history, everything about it. Carol, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Appreciate thank it. you. And amigos, as always, love peace and tacos and fish and burgers and everything else that they serve here. And don't forget the, the chicken. The chicken, <laughs> the, the cake, everything was amazing. But we will see you here because I guarantee you if you come, I'm probably going to be here because I found one of my new favorite places here in San Antonio. We'll see you next time. Just where to go.